All right, welcome back to WMAC Now with your host, Chuck Stevenson, coming at you with some unfortunate news. So, number 12th ranked UFC flyweight Jessica I and 13th ranked flyweight Casey O'Neill were set to go down, or excuse me, were set to face off at UFC 276, scheduled for July 2nd at the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. Unfortunately, King Casey O'Neill has been forced to withdraw from the fight due to a serious injury. Per King Casey MMA on Instagram, Unfortunately, I have to announce that I need to withdraw from my upcoming fight on July 2nd due to snapping my ACL last week in training. I've spent the past seven days trying to continue on, but it's just not possible on a fully torn ACL. I will have surgery, recovery, and be back better than ever before you know it. I'm so sad that I don't get to perform for you guys. I'm so sad that I don't get to fight, but I am excited to get healthy and rebuild. Thank you to the UFC, Dana White, Mick Maynard, Heather Linden, Dr. Tara, and UFC PI for always taking care of me. I'm 24 years old and young in this game. I promise you I'll be back better than before, and the king is still coming for her crown. Love you guys. Thank you for the support. So this is some unfortunate news for, you know, the young... Casey O'Neill. I mean, she's in her, she's what, 20, she's only 24 years old. And this is a serious setback. We're talking at least, at least a year that she will be out from the sport because a torn ACL, fully torn ACL is not a minor injury. It is serious stuff. It is the kind of thing that, you know, fighters, get surgery on and not just fighters but athletes in many different sports they get surgery on it and some of them are never quite the same now granted the technology is getting better and better all the time so hopefully this isn't you know the end of the game for Casey I doubt it is I mean at 24 years old she's young young people tend to recover as long as she does rehab the right way doesn't you know force it doesn't rush it she should be back in a year, possibly even sooner. We've seen people come back from serious injuries like this in less time. Hopefully, everything works out for Kim Casey O'Neill. For Jessica I, the UFC has already found a replacement. So she will be taking on 14th ranked Macy the Future Barber. Now, Barber just got done fighting less than... You know, a little over five days from the time of this recording where she defeated Montana De La Rosa via unanimous decision at UFC Vegas 52. Um, so, Barber comes in riding a two-fight run. Taking a look at the stats here, Jessica I is coming in on a three-fight losing streak. She is 15-10. and 10. Barber is 10-2. and two. Now, of course, youth is going to favor Barber here. She's 24 years to Jessica I's 35. Looks like I is slightly taller, five feet, six inches, 168 centimeters to five feet, five inches, 165 centimeters. And I has one inch of reach on her as well. 66 inches, 168 centimeters to 65 inches, 165 centimeters for Barber. So this is an interesting fight. Um, you know, I is only her opponent. She was set to face an opponent one rank down from her. Now she's set to face an opponent who is only two ranks down from her. And Barber is riding high off of that win off of De La Rosa, whereas, you know, I seems to be on her way out. She hasn't won a fight since she defeated Viviani Araujo two years ago. Now here's the kicker. And I might, you might disagree with this. But don't let recency bias cloud your thinking here. Because la like the last time Jessica I faced an up-and-coming fighter was Viviani Araujo, who she was, an, if I remember correctly, she was an underdog to. And I ended up coming up the winner against the less experienced fighter. And here she is again, taking on a much less experienced fighter who hasn't, you know beaten anyone you know fairly high ranked yet so this could i mean i, I know people are going to want to favor barber early 
but let's not let recency bias cloud our thinking. This could be a very good fight. Could be a very good fight. You know, Jessica I brings that experience in, and she's a dog. And she has that dog in her. So, Barbara has been doing well, and she looks to be making a lot of improvement at Team Alpha Male. You know, they brought her in, and compared to, say, her fight against Alexa Grasso, where she, you know, kept getting tempted to fight on the outside, her, Barbara's last fight, she fought on the inside pretty much the entire fight, and fought very well. But Jessica, I've seen that style before. I mean, she's fought against, you know, Arujo, for example. Uh, she's Je Jennifer Maya. So, I has been there and done that in this sport. Not always winning, of course, but she's bringing in a vast wealth of experience here. And I think people are going to count Jessica I out right away. I'm just here to temper your thinking or temper your expectations and just say, listen, Barbara's doing well. And Jessica I's not. But that doesn't mean that Jessica I can't turn it around. So just food for thought here could happen anyway i'm gonna have to watch some tape before the fight goes down to really you know make a pick but let me know your thoughts on this in the comments down below of course we are wishing king casey o'neill a speedy and full recovery we're all sorry to hear that about her but let me know your thoughts on this new matchup in the comments down below if you like the video please give it a like and while you're at it don't forget to subscribe to wm macy now the best most complete women's mixed martial arts dedicated platform on YouTube. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.